Nitro Circus really started with the best in the world of action sports, um, you know, coming over to my house and we just, we'd film everybody that was trying new tricks because we had a, what they call a foam pit. So basically a, a pit of really soft uh, landing area and it was the first of its kind. So the best in the world from skate, from BMX, from motocross would all come over, we'd film it and we kind of got us following the action sports world. And then it got picked up on Fuel TV, which was a network uh, that played mostly action sports stuff. And then uh, Johnny Knoxville from Jackass had seen it and said, oh, this needs to be on MTV. And then just kept getting bigger and bigger. Now we have live action sports tours and uh, pretty much anything from your uh, shenanigans on, on big wheels, uh, you know, old uh, kids toys to uh, anything we can create and uh, all the way up to skydiving and base jumping and that kind of stuff. So we pretty much uh, try to do everything and just push ourselves to the limit. You know, Nitro Circus, uh, the crew member, like everyone says they want to be part of the crew. I said, be careful what you ask for because most people are either fearless and they just go for stuff and they're hurt all the time. Or they're like, no, 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 that, no one's ever done that before. We can't do that. Well, how can you do that? And they, they have the, all these questions. So really the definition is someone that's willing to push themselves but understands the limits of, you know, the human body and what their personal limits are. So it's uh, kind of a fine line of... Uh, over enthusiastic and underprepared, but still having an idea of, you know, what's possible. The only real similarity between Nitro Circus and Jackass is that there's a group of friends that are traveling around, you know, around the world uh, having a good time. The difference is all the Jackass stunts are built to fail. Um, the guys really don't have a lot of talent. Uh, you know, Johnny Knoxville and those guys, they're all funny, uh, but everything that they do is basically designed to hurt and to entertain. For Nitro Circus, if we do our tricks right, they're designed to, you know, have no pain. You know, there's a couple of them like Angry Birds. If you speak up and you, you talk uh, about something you want to try, you better be willing to back it up because uh, chances are Nitro Circus will build it for you. For us, I mean, Jackass had a huge following. There was a lot of people that just love seeing people get hurt. Uh, for Nitro Circus, we have more of an action sports following, but everyone that is outside action sports that sees it is like, holy cow, like, what is this? But it's still kind of a, it's, you know, I wouldn't even say a little brother. Like, we try to, you know, completely separate roads from Jackass. It's a, uh, you know, ours is more family oriented. You know, no one's really intentionally trying to hurt each other. We try to, it's more of a positive, uh, you know, go out there, be active and uh, push yourself kind of thing. So uh, for us, we realized that Jackass, uh, you know, is definitely was the first of its type, is uh, a bigger uh, brother, if you will, but uh, we think we can get there. You know, for us, it was a really strange thing because MTV always said, you can't do this, you can't do that. And we're like, you know what? We want to do our biggest stunts. They're like, well, no, you can't jump big wheels from roof to roof. We can't get, uh, the liability is just too great. You know, we, we can't take that risk. So we did it completely uninsured. We did it out of our own pocket. We all paid to have this, this movie and we just traveled around the world on our own dime, had an awesome time, and uh, we're able to do all the stunts that everyone told us couldn't be done. And uh, we pulled it off. So for us to, to come through with that and without really a lot of backing was, was really cool. So, you know, it launched in the U.S. and did all right, it launched in Australia and did, did really well. So hopefully uh, it'll continue over in Europe and, you know, when the Blu-ray and DVD and everything comes out, it'll uh, continue to, to do well. Everyone that's seen it has really liked the film, so it was really positive for us to, you know, to know coming from kind of a smaller distribution background, but now that people have seen it, that it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. You know, there's so many uh, really epic moments, and a lot of the stuff didn't even make the film. A lot of the most fun stuff is in the, the bonuses that you'll see on the DVD and the you know, Blu-ray, even if you did see it in theaters. So uh, for me, that, that's a lot of stuff is pretty cool. A lot of the stuff at my house, I mean, we had um, these big berms that we made out of, out of wood um, for bicycles and even wheels in a wheelchair did it. And then you jumped, launched a jump onto the trampoline, and the guy were flipping onto the trampoline, flipping off the trampoline, and some of them were riding out, most of them face planting on the other side, but it was... Uh, very entertaining. I really enjoyed that one.